different Americans would claim to be the one that killed Tecumseh. Two of them would use it to get elected to political office. There was a fellow named Rumsey, and his motto was Rumsey Dumsey, you know, Rumsey Dumsey, Richard Rumsey killed Tecumseh. And that was his claim to politics. William Henry Harrison would go on to become president of the United States with the claim of Tippecanoe and Tyler too, because he was the fellow that had the Battle of Tippecanoe and beat Tecumseh on the Thames. He was probably nowhere close to where Tecumseh fell. One American officer, and this is one American officer claimed to have taken Tecumseh's body and skinned it and turned him into a belt. And when he got home to the States, bragged about it. Now the Shawnee tradition was that a warrior was buried as close to the place he died as possible. But his friends knew that the Americans had a price on Tecumseh's head. They knew they wanted to desecrate him. Saganash, a member of the Indian Department of mixed heritage. His father was William Caldwell, a British officer. His mother was a Mohawk woman from the Grand River. He was known as Billy Caldwell, but his traditional name was Saganash very reliable young man. He was heard to come out of the trees and tell some British soldiers that I saw him dying. He said that he saw Tecumseh walking away into the trees away from the battlefield holding his hand over his chest as blood poured out over his hands. And Sarganash said that Tecumseh turned to him and said, I am shot. Go help the people. The most believable report to me anybody ever got because Tecumseh's life, his focus was the people. He didn't do it for his own glory. He saw himself as a servant of his people. He had promised to never sign a treaty, never did. The Council of Three Fires, Ojibwe, Odawa, Potawatomi, they definitely had warriors with Tecumseh that day. There was trusted warriors from the north and even from not very far north of here and from all the way up to Il San Joseph up near Mackinac the most readily believable to me story is that some of those Anishinaabe warriors, those Council of Three Fires men, took Tecumseh's body away from the American line. It's believed now that the remnant of Tecumseh's bones are buried on Kejnam, the Kejwanam if you prefer, Walpole Island, First Nation. And next year, 200 years from Tecumseh's death, they will rededicate their monument to him.